<clears throat> hello, hello, everybody. How are you? I'm just going to give it a minute for people to hop on. And adjust my... This thing just wants to tilt forward. <clears throat> Hi, how are you? Oops. I guess that's the way it's going to stay. <laughs> oh, let me see. I get it. Oops. I have this little arm thing that holds my cell phone so I can do a live video and it's not cooperating today. It just wants to fall down. Hi. So, ah, it's going to fall down yet. There, I think that might be better. Let's hope it stays. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Oops, there's my dog. <laughs> so, gonna say hi, Muffy? Come here. So, this is my Muffy. <laughs> yeah, my doggy. <laughs> hey, Muff. Yeah, she's a good girl. She wants to play. But I want to do this video quickly here first. So, oh! There. <laughs> okay. We're going to, I'm going to get started here. So I want to talk to you today about fear. This is uh, Angelica Stangen. And I want to talk to you about fear. <clears throat> now, fear is just a feeling that signals that you're about to do something really important. And I've, um, I'm about to do something really important, and I'll tell you in a second. So I've been working as a hairstylist um, in a salon, strictly commission basis. So that means you get about 50% minus taxes. You get about 50% if you do um, a client's hair. Unfortunately, the salon is a little bit slow and there's not a whole lot of walk-ins for a new stylist to build on. And yes, the other stylists, um, they do pretty good, but they've been there for over 10 years, even more. Um, myself, I've been there close to a year, and I still find myself um, cleaning the salon, washing other stylists, their clients' hair, just to keep busy, um, no, don't get me wrong, I don't mind doing that, but I do put in about 40 hours a week, and, um, and as I said, I only get paid on the clients that I do. So, um, and somehow, miraculously, I do manage to get by by the end of the month. And it's probably my good money management is what's happening there. Um, over the past few weeks I've been doing some reading and some personal development and I realized that this, the salon situation that I'm in, isn't sitting well with me because I just don't want to just get by. Um, and I wasn't going to let this pain um, stop me dead in my tracks. I thought I've got to make changes and these changes I know will make me feel uncomfortable but I'm going to do it. And um, because you see pain prompts a person to face who we are and where we are. And when you change your thinking, you change your beliefs. Um, 
when your belief in your personal abilities change, it transforms you. And belief is not just an idea that you possess. It's an idea that possesses you. Um, a belief holds greater power because it changes a person's expectations. And when you begin to change your thinking and your beliefs on a new foundation of personal growth, you have more than just a hope and a dream to carry you forward. Um, you will expect to achieve your goal because you are determined to change yourself. And you're ready. You're ready for the change. And you will expect to succeed, and you will. So here's some words from uh, Richard Devos. The only thing that stands between a man and what he wants from his life is often merely the will to try it and the faith to believe it is possible. So face your fears, be willing and open to change, and allow fear to propel you forward. And say to yourself, I need to change, I am able to change, I will be rewarded by change. So be the change. Thank you for watching. I always value and appreciate your time. And thank you again, and have a great evening. Good night. Bye-bye.